U.S. Now, I caught up with Joshua Angris, professor at MIT and recipient of the 2021 Nobel Prize in Economics, and asked how his research around schooling and education has shaped government policy. Take a listen. Well, we don't, we don't make specific policy recommendations, but we do encourage policymakers to look at the evidence. And on any given question, there usually is a body of evidence. It comes from scholars like us, uh, by no means just from us. Uh, and so whenever there's something on the public uh, docket that's related to education policy, you know, we always encourage uh, both voters and politicians to look at the evidence. So in the run-up to uh, the 2016 a ballot initiative. In 2016, there was a ballot initiative in Massachusetts on expanding uh, charter schools, and uh, we, we encourage the public and policymakers to look at the evidence, uh, which by and large shows Massachusetts charter schools to be doing pretty well. Um, in any case, um, that's our approach to it, to, to look at the evidence. When you look at the world right now, what are the most interesting economic questions that stand out to you uh, that you think are worthy of, of research in the coming months and years? Well, there's no shortage of questions in the world. Um, I, you know, I have, uh, uh, my focus is on, in recent years, my focus has been on education policy uh, and to a lesser extent on labor markets. Um, we're very involved with research on financial aid that's relevant to uh, the last election and the election to come. Uh, how much and for whom should the government, uh, for example, increase uh, post-secondary aid or forgive loans? Uh, that's something we're studying and uh, we're following very closely.